what's going on guys it's Omni here again today i'm bringing you a brand new video this is going to be more of an unboxing video so if you guys came for gameplay i'm so sorry but you're not going to see any here uh now this is going to be an unboxing of the as you can tell the nintendo switch now if you didn't know this freaking thing is super hard to find right now and it's really actually pretty obnoxious um i know at the moment of purchasing this uh, you could actually buy the Switch on GameStop's website. It would ship out June 30th, but you had to buy it in a bundle with the Pro Controller and a game and accessories and shit like that for like 450 or something like that. You couldn't buy just the base console itself just like this. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I had to go from uh, game... I went to... Well, first off, I was in New York City, so I checked the uh, the Nintendo World Store in New York City. They didn't have any Switches. The next day, I checked uh, Walmart. They didn't have any there. So then today, I actually checked, uh, let's see, I checked two Walmarts, uh, two Best Buys. I checked two Toys R Us, two Targets, three GameStops. Um, and I think that was it. And the second, the last place I went was the second Best Buy. I asked the guy if they had any, expecting a no at this point because I had been to so many freaking stores. Um, and he was like, yeah, we actually have one over in customer service. We only have one in stock. And I was like, oh, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, is it brand new? No, it's not open box or anything. And he's like, yeah, no, it's, it's totally fine. So here we are. And I was like, holy shit, yes, give me. I would like to buy that right now, right this second. Um, so I picked it up. Uh, kind of an impulse buy. Originally, I didn't want a Switch right away because um, obviously Breath of the Wild is like an incredible game, got really good reviews and all that shit, but I have a Wii U, so I didn't need a Switch in order to play Breath of the Wild. Um, so yeah, that's the deal with that. Uh, so I didn't get a Switch for launch because I could play Breath of the Wild. And then Mario Kart didn't really entice me because I have Mario Kart 8 already with some of the DLC characters. Um, so there just was really no reason for me to buy a Switch. And on top of that, it's been really freaking hard to get one so far. Uh, but with E3 happening, Nintendo's conference, just talking about the Pokemon game that's coming out, Metroid Prime 4, and all this other freaking awesome stuff. Mario Odyssey, I'm super excited for Mario Odyssey. Splatoon 2 is something I want to pick up because I didn't get to play the first one. Um, so a bunch of cool stuff was announced at E3. Uh, so I figured now is the time to grab a... A Nintendo switch and here it is this is the console itself I know uh, it's probably not like the best angle to be showing you guys this at but I didn't really want to like set up a tripod and have to use my phone and then I got to convert the video files because it's an iPhone in order to use it with the um, my editing software so anyway this is the little tablet uh, part of the switch and it looks really awesome. There's no protective film on the screen, which is weird. I thought that it, there totally would be, but uh, that's it. So if you want like a little size comparison, this is an iPhone 6S Plus. Um, so that's a little size comparison for you. It's a, I've got obviously one of Apple's cases on here. So it's a little bit bigger than the iPhone 6S Plus. I would say the screen, uh, well, the screen actually, the, the iPhone is longer than the screen, but it's just about as wide. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's uh, smaller than I thought it would be, honestly. I've only played with one of these once before, and I was actually pretty bummed out at how freaking small this thing is, but I think it's probably about the same size as the, um, as the Wii U screen, maybe? I don't know. Um, so here is the neon red Joy-Con. This, I actually kind of wanted the, the gray uh, Nintendo Switch, I'm not gonna lie, but... This was the only one that they had in stock. I went to a million stores and I was like, you know what? That's fine. All the other consoles I have are black, except for my N64. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go with the colorful one. It actually looks really cool. I mean, it might be a little saturated here on my software, but uh, yeah, so this thing just slides right on here, just like that, bam. And then there you go. You got your right Joy-Con. And let's pop the blue one out here. So we got the blue one here. Again, just uh, super saturated, really bright color. These actually look way better. Like these neon colors actually look a lot nicer in person than they do in like advertisements or um, on like the packaging and, and stuff like that. Um, so there you have it. That's the switch right there. We, we got a switch, man. That's freaking sweet. And you can see my wallpaper and stuff right there. Um, but that's, that's the switch. We got the uh, back here. There's this little, uh, what's this? This is like a stand or something where you can pop the stand out so you can actually stand it up 
uh, and it just kind of sits here on the, the table. I know you probably can't really see, but yeah, it just kind of like sits just like that right on the table. Really awesome stuff. So let's take the bags, throw the bags off to the side, <clears throat> see what's underneath this little piece of cardboard here. So when you pull the cardboard off, you've got uh, all these goodies inside, you know? So you got all this stuff, looks like uh, some wires over here, uh, some manuals, and then this is probably like the dock or something like that, or I don't know, let's, let's, let's pop all this stuff open. And I'm sure many, maybe many of you have already seen a uh, unboxing of the Switch. Here's the information manual, um, but I figured I would do it just because you know it's still kind of you know not that easy to get one of these uh, unless you want to pay scalper prices or you want to wait a while to pick one up. So this is actually the dock. So let's open this up. And also, I know a lot of my fan base is more into uh, like Call of Duty and shooters and stuff like that. So maybe you guys haven't seen a Switch unboxing before, and maybe you would like my opinion on it. Um, so yeah, let's let's close this little leg here or this stand. So this is the this is the whole dock right here. This is the whole thing. It's you know about this. It's this, it's the same size as the screen, obviously, because the screen goes inside of it. So uh, two USB ports on this side, uh, nothing on the other side, and then this is where the wires come out to uh, plug into the TV. So hidden inside that compartment, as you can see here, is a I think that's USB three and the HDMI out. Uh, and then the AC adapter can be plugged into there. Um, and I think the AC adapter is what charges this bitch on the bottom there. So when you when you drop it in the dock, it'll actually charge the thing, obviously. Otherwise, that would be some really fucking garbage uh, innovation there. So that's it. I just put it in the dock. That's it. It's all good. Like, you, you're done there. There's no... Uh, it, it just kind of goes in. It just fucking knows how to do it, man. Um, no games come with this, obviously, unless you buy one of the GameStop bundles, um, you would need to buy a game separately, and I did not buy a game yet with this system, uh, so this is the little controller pad thing, so basically what you do with that thing, uh, these little buttons here on the back, I don't know if you can see, you press these little buttons, and when you do that, uh, you can actually just pull the Joy-Cons right off, so that's pretty cool, it's easier to get them off one at a time, like holding them, you know, like that. Uh, so I'm going to put the screen back in the dock, and I know you can't see me doing this stuff, but uh, that's not the point. <clears throat> so yeah, this just slides right in here like that, and then the blue one is going to slide in the other side like that, and then they kind of just click into place, and then you got a controller. That's the whole thing, man. You got the whole controller right there. And I will say, this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be, um, and the buttons, like the triggers, I'm not a fan of them. Uh, maybe it's because I'm used to like the Xbox 360 or the PS4, uh, but these triggers are not triggers I would really want to use for, you know, a shooter game like Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, they're nice because they click. They have like a very definitive like clicking noise when you press them down, um, which is nice. But they feel a little bit uh, cheap. Like they're not mechanical. They feel like they have like a like a cheap rubber um, pad in there to push it down, which I'm sure that's how most. Uh, computer buttons work but like like these buttons you can you can hear you can hear a nice click with that but like the triggers I mean you you probably can't tell through through the the microphone but it's just it feels like a little bit cheap you know I wouldn't rely on them for for shots plus my fingers do not fit on this look how skinny that is look how skinny that is my fingers just don't fit on them so not a fan of the triggers um obviously for a portable console like if we're gonna judge it from a portable perspective then it, it works really really well but uh if i were to judge this as an actual controller i would say it's uh too small just it's just too small for my hands i mean my hands are freaking like i don't know i feel like my hands are normal size and this thing just feels tiny as fuck in my hands uh, and I, that's saying something because the Wii Mote doesn't feel tiny to me, but these feel really tiny. Um, so I think that is, you know, they were obviously going for a portable console. You know, they wanted to make this small enough to where they could still consider it portable, which is cool. It's very light. Uh, it's, it feels pretty durable, except for, like I said, the triggers don't feel that good. Um, the joysticks, again, are not thing. This, it's not something I would want to play like Call of Duty with. If you actually look in there, it, the, jo the joystick is actually a ball. Uh, that just rotates in a socket um, and it's like a small ball which is weird and I, I don't know I can't really explain how it's different uh, than the PS4 joysticks I don't know let me see if I can grab one of these so like the ball on the PS4 joystick is underneath the plastic so that way when you do this 
the you know the the stick part of the joystick run, uh, hits against the side of the controller when you do that with this one uh, it's not really the case you know it doesn't there's no as you can see there's a there's a little gap there you know you can see through it I don't know if I you see that it's not hitting anything it's only stopping from whatever is on the inside of the controller um, which means I feel like when I push this to the side really hard I feel like uh, I could break it because it's not pushing up against like I said the wall you can you can hit that really hard and you know it's hitting the wall of the controller when you're hitting this it's not hitting anything except for whatever the interior piece is uh, and that makes me feel like I would never use this for any sort of competitive gaming uh, or anything like that so the joysticks I would say are a little bit weak the triggers are a little bit weak the buttons feel amazing these feel really really solid uh, Nintendo these feel uh, kind of like the DSI buttons you know it's kind of like that uh the start and the start the, or the plus and minus buttons uh they feel really nice too so you know overall it's great for a portable controller but it's not uh if you're talking like a home console controller this is not for you this is you know definitely something that should be replaced with the pro controller if you plan on playing anything like uh competitively and i don't know if there's going to be a huge esports scene for the switch we're going to have to see what the smash bros looks like um on top of that uh, Splatoon 2, you know, Splatoon actually has an esports scene. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, it's not too popular, but it, it does exist. So um, if Splatoon 2 blows up because of how many consoles this thing is selling, or how many Switches have sold, uh, then we're we might see a Splatoon 2 esports scene grow a little bit, which will be cool. Uh, and if that's the case, I can guarantee you these will not be used. Uh, because of like I said they just feel you know that the joysticks and triggers don't feel like they could uh, withstand repeated professional use but casually totally cool so we've got these things here which these actually the controller will slide onto and uh, when you do that the controller becomes like its own little portable thing where you can play games like one two switch or other you know mini game things where this actually becomes the entire controller this is the whole thing uh, which is cool because you know this this allows you to have two controllers right out of the right out of the box which is really really awesome um these feel weird they go on weird i don't like how they go on to be perfectly honest um and i don't know uh like okay there we go so they got a little lock like a little locking mechanism here um and that's it that's the whole controller so if you're playing certain games this is the entire thing um and you can also i think you could use this just like this as well if you wanted to like sit back um like if you're playing this portably and you don't want to hold the entire screen and everything you can prop the screen up with the stand and just play with this if you don't have the uh if you don't want to lug this around as well like your backpack or whatever moving on to the next stuff in the box we got uh, an hdmi cable this is really standard uh doesn't even it doesn't even have any indication that this oh okay there it is there's a nintendo logo right there i was gonna say wow they really just went with like a super generic um super generic thing but no this is nintendo branded so that is cool i like when when stuff is like that because i don't know it just feels quality to me like to have to, to know that like nintendo's branding is on here means it didn't come from just some generic chinese factory uh, and it probably did but you know just the fact that they have their own little machine that puts the nintendo thing on there it makes me feel like it's quality even though it's probably just the same uh, and then this thing right here this is the power cord this is what's going to get plugged into the dock um, and that's what's going to charge the system. Now, I do believe you can actually just plug this right into... Yeah, you can actually just plug it right in there. And that's actually really cool. That... That... Uh, okay, so it goes in either way. That's actually really cool. So that's kind of like the lightning cable for the... Um, for like the you know apple products and stuff how you can plug it in in either direction it's the same way i can flip this around and it'll still go in so it's not like a usb or like a mini usb or micro usb or anything like that it's not like the ps4 one um you can see here it's just one little round nub and you can stick it in either way uh <laughs> that's that sounded really wrong but yeah you can it goes in either way uh either either one either direction that you want to do it it'll go in and um and yeah so that, that makes it really handy if it's just like hanging over the side of your bed or whatever you just grab it plug it in and it doesn't matter um, but otherwise you can actually just plug it right into the dock here um, and it'll provide power to the dock you can close the little door and do a little wire management cable management whatever and then when you plug the system or the you know screen into the dock it'll charge the screen just like that 
so then you can when you come back you can just take it off the dock and it's fully charged ready to be portable uh and that's it that's everything in the box there's nothing left in here um just some you know cardboard dividers and there's nothing underneath that so that's the entire oh that was loud that's the entire switch unboxing you guys i hope you enjoyed it again i know you know my channel is based on call of duty and like competitive gaming and stuff like that um or not competitive gaming but you know that's it's more towards the call of duty first person shooter um gaming type of scene and this is not necessarily the type of console that maybe a lot of you guys might play you know like i said if you play call of duty or battlefield or uh tom clancy rainbow six or, or any of that stuff overwatch even you might not be interested in the switch or you might not really know much about it because you just play csgo or whatever um so i figured i'd bring you guys this little unboxing video because i am excited for the switch there actually are games i'm excited for now now that e3 came around i'm looking forward to a handful of titles as opposed to just um super mario odyssey so i had a reason to pick this up you know if i didn't find one today it wouldn't have been the end of the world because right now like i said i don't have any games for this there were there were no games that i was like oh i need to get that when i get the switch um maybe when street fighter goes down i'll grab that just because it's kind of nostalgic and uh, i'll probably end up buying mario kart just because it's the only game uh, that i can picture me playing right now because i do have uh, another friend who has a switch who has mario kart so i can play with him uh, but besides that you know like i said there's really no games for it right now but splatoon comes out i believe next month in july and then we've got a couple of steady releases up until october when mario odyssey comes out which i'm super hyped about and then after that uh you know we'll see what holiday brings and that's pretty much it so again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smack a thumbs up on this video and if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know the next time that i upload uh, i would really really appreciate that it helps my channel out a ton and comment down below if you guys are interested in the switch do you think e3 changed anything for you as far as the switch goes um were you interested in the switch before e3 or were you not interested and now you are like me or are you still just like not really impressed with the hardware or with the lineup of games or the third-party support whatever it might be drop a comment down below I'd really like to hear what you guys think about the switch because this thing is flying off of shelves shelves and it is hard to get uh, but I do know that there's a ton of people who just don't give a shit because Call of Duty might not come to it uh, and of course World War 2 Call of Duty World War 2 is not coming to it unless it gets a later release there's no way that it's coming out in november for the switch um as far as i know so yeah that's the deal uh hopefully again like like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching this has been omni and i will talk to you guys again soon peace